A time long ago, New York was a very different place. Even though we all took subways together, very old subways that were falling to pieces, we couldn't have been more alone. Some people earned $1 million a year while others were hoarse from asking for pennies. We had long learned to ignore the inequality. Then, suddenly, or maybe there had been a fair amount of notice, a virus moved through the city. It was highly contagious, killing all kinds of people, and the only way to survive was to stay at home. We never stopped craving touch, but we learned how to be alone, how to cook really well, and how to properly water our plants. And after a little while, the people who had built up antibodies went out into the city. They bought groceries for people who couldn't leave their homes and sewed masks for the hospitals. They slowly rebuilt society into something new. As the cases decreased, we realized some really important things about happiness and survival. We realized that we were not islands, but instead bodies of water flowing into each other, infecting each other with joys and evils, just as a polluted river infects the sea it runs into. Even our politicians agreed. They sent out basic income checks because they no longer valued people based on what they could produce, but because they were human. Unanimously, the government passed universal health care into law. After the virus, we hosted festivals in honor of immigrants, in honor of the black and brown and queer peoples of our community so that the people who had done the most to save our world could be celebrated publicly. And once a week, we'd all stop what we were doing to applaud healthcare workers and home health aides and teachers and janitors. Who else did we applaud? In those first days, we walked out into the streets and fell in love with how sweet the air smelled after months of fewer cars and planes. We realized how little we needed the things we had become so dependent on. The government passed the Green New Deal and stopped using coal, fossil fuels, and fracking to power our economy. The Amazon began to grow back. Sumatran rhinos, thought to have gone extinct, reappeared in great numbers. Trees grew back everywhere, and the CO2 levels in the atmosphere plummeted. Borders couldn't stop the virus, and in all our panic, we realized that nations didn't make us feel safer or happier. So we abolished them. We became the big universal world that we are now. But remember, it took strength and force to get here. It took care.